Ooh, welcome to Nedling Daily, your spooky source for tech news. Ah, ah, ah. What? <coughs> Why did we do this again? Because we got a fog machine. <coughs> oh, right. Stop it. Stop it. <coughs> A report from Sweetlockers claims that NVIDIA will release a possible GTX 980 Ti slash 990 sometime after the summer, which is fall. I think that's when fall is. Normally NVIDIA's Ti cards mean the GPU has been unlocked, but the GTX 980 already has a fully unlocked GM204 chip. Sweetlockers sources say the card will be based off the GM200 GPU, which also powers the new Titan X and Quadro M6000 cards from NVIDIA, and could possibly have six gigabytes of VRAM instead of the Titan X's massive 12 gigabytes, which honestly, probably makes a lot more sense anyways. Intel has teamed up with Micron to develop stacked memory, which they're calling 3D NAND Flash. The two companies are claiming their 3D NAND technology will fit 3.5 terabytes on a stick of gum sized drive for Ultrabooks and 10 terabytes on a standard 2.5 inch SSD, although such products won't launch until sometime next year. But while Intel and Micron's version uses a 32 layer process, Toshiba, who invented Flash in the first place, has also announced 3D NAND memory using a 48 layer process. I don't know exactly what that means, but I do know that the more layers, the better. NCIX fashion tips. In more Intel news, the company has revealed new details about its upcoming Knight's Landing Xeon 5 processor. It's based on a 14 nanometer process, has 8 billion transistors, comes with built-in memory, and performs three times better than its predecessor, the 22 nanometer Knight's Corner. It can both work as a host processor with an installed OS or as a co-processor. And no, this is not for gaming people, I'm sorry. It's for supercomputers. If you're interested in a lot of technical jargon, hit the news sources link in the description. It is time for quick beats. YouTube has added 4K and 60 FPS support separately, but now they're experimenting with putting them together. There's a six video playlist to show off the mind blowing quality, but you'll need to use the Chrome browser. Twitter has announced Periscope, a video live streaming app that looks to compete with Meerkat. And a T-Mobile employee on the XDA developer forums has leaked images of what he claims is an LG G4 Note, a big sized brother to the unreleased G4. Did you have to call it the Note with the stylus and everything? I mean, I'm telling Samsung. Was ist das? Leitungswasser. Deal hunters, the time has come. Prepare your bodies and minds because NCIX's Markham Warehouse sale is tomorrow. Over 500 open box items from video cards, hard drives, cases, power supplies, laptops, and tons of TVs from 30 to 60 inches with massive discounts. And just for showing up, you're entered to win one of two $100 gift cards. So be there March 28th at NCIX's Markham location in Ontario from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time, but you also will want to get there early because people have already started to camp out in line. Like literally, I'm not joking. A guy has set up his tent as of 5.30 p.m. over there. We're all sale! Woo! Click here on the links in the description for more details. All right, that's it for Netlink TV, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Yeah, you really didn't have to scare What? Me.